Here below are the things you'll need to start this project. Your business cards, of course, a sponge brush, and some paint. All right. So today we are gonna talk about how to make yourself stand out and be different with just something so simple and so easy. And we're gonna start with your business cards, all right? So shout out to Vistaprint, pop, pop. Um, I've used them numerous times for the different business cards that I've used along the way. Um, this time I decided to go with a thicker card stock just so it can be a lot sturdier. Um, and I just like the look of it. And so here they are. Voila. Okay, amazing. They did really good on, you know, I just, I love them overall. I love the cleanliness of it. Um, I love the, you can see how thick it is compared to um, normal business cards. Uh, this is a thicker card stock. Um, but shout out to Aramis, my graphic designer, visual art connoisseur. He is the bomb.com. He updated my logo, um, as you can see. Um, and yeah, I just love it. So what I wanted to do was figure out a way to make myself stand apart with my business cards. Something so simple. And um, I've seen it all over Pinterest. Um, and what a lot of people do is that they'll color, sorry, let me get back in focus. They'll color um, around the thick cardstock to kind of make it pop, okay? So um, I read some reviews. You know, I got some, a lot of people say that using spray paint is a good idea. You know, it's simple, easy, boom, does it really quick. But then I got that, you know, what happens with spray paint is that it smears. And so I didn't want it to smear. One, I spent good money on these cards. So I did not want to waste money um, and mess up some cards. You know, so um, the next option that I saw a lot of people doing was just by taking uh, paint. So they took paint, whatever type of paint they wanted to use, took a sponge brush and they dabbed it, uh, dab, okay? So they put it on the sides and it was it allowed them, especially a sponge brush, um, it allows you to control the paint as well as um, just makes it, ultimately it allows you to control it. So I thought, hey, why not? Let me try this out. Uh, hopefully it works. If it doesn't, I'm gonna go back to all the Pinterest people that I pinned this idea from, and I'm gonna have to talk to them because I can't mess up my cards. So let's just wish me luck, okay? So they say to do it in like clunks, like don't try to do them all at once because of course you can make a mess. Go figure. Um, so let's see. So I'm really nervous because I don't want to mess them up, guys. <laughs> okay. So I went downstairs and I found a handy dandy clip. This is what you need just to make sure to keep your cards in place. So what you want to do is make sure you have them lined up as kind of like as perfect as possible and I know it's kind of hard to make things perfect because we're not perfect people but try to get them as perfect as possible and then you want to just clamp it down right all right so got them clamped you only want like a few cards at each time just so you can make sure to stay focused all right um now you would think that opening paint hold on, wouldn't be difficult. There we go. All right, so you open your paint. So I wanted the metallic gold. I don't know if you can see it. I wanted a metallic because I'm like about everything sparkly. Start with a dab of paint. All right, make sure the cards are lined up. All right, let's see. All right, and then I, what I would do probably is just hold the cards and not so much the clip. Just cause you don't wanna like mess it up, you know? Here goes nothing.
and then you're gonna take it and just sit it to the side all right and then it's time to get the next set of cards so it's pretty simple all right so this is one of the well this is the first set that i did um, as you can see, they are kind of like stuck together, right? So now, so you gotta like work it and then pull them apart. Oh, there we go. So this is what it looks like when it's finished. Um, at first I thought I liked the brushed effect, but I like the simple only gold around the rim. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or you know wanna see more, just comment below and I'm always willing to help. Until next time, loves.